Friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection from the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean. We invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 6, 1 to 6 and 16 to 18. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room and, when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. Where God resides. Many years ago, I worked in a community and together we came up with the idea that the work that we were doing was an act out of the heart. That the heart is the secret place where God resides in the person and the people of the community. It is where we start from in building community from inside out. Encountering God in that secret place in ourselves and in others through prayer, fasting, and almsgiving. In our consumerist world culture, we give much credence to displaying our charity and virtuous deeds for others to see. After all, how else will people know about our company, corporation, NGO, church, even about us as individuals. Jesus teaches us another way, the way of righteousness, piety, and how to pray, give alms, and fast. A way that is focused not on us, but on God and others, especially those who are poor, and marginalized in our communities. Key to our choices is where our hearts are. Are we doing it for the right things or for the wrong reasons? We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.